Good day, welcome to Favor One Matley, where we work smart, not hard. In today's video, we're given this diagram with no numbers and only some information about some lengths being equal to each other. With that, simply we're to find the value of angle A. Pause the video here, see what you can come up with. I'm gonna solve it this way. As per usual, I'll begin by labeling some of these vertices. So we'll be having those labeled P, Q, R, and S. Next, looking at the triangle PQS, I see that PQ is equal to PS, as indicated on the diagram. That means that the angle QPS is equal to X, and the angle QSP will also be X. Next, I see that the angle there QSR will be labeled as Y and because the side SR is congruent to the side QR then the angle SQR will also be Y. And I'll label the final angle there at point R as Z. Now because the triangle PQR is isosceles and those two angles X are the base angles, then I know that angle X will be equal to 180 minus A divided by 2. Similarly, because the triangle SPR is isosceles because SP is equal to SR, then X and Z are the two base angles of that triangle, which means that angle X will be equal to angle Z. So I can also conclude that Z is equal to 180 minus A divided by 2. Next, the angles Y. Since those are the base angles of the triangle SRQ, then those will be equal to 180 minus Z divided by 2. And finally, if we look at the straight line PQR, angle A and angle Y are adjacent angles, so those add up to 180, or in other words, angle Y will be equal to 180 minus A. Looking at these last two equations, if they're both equal to y, we can equate them to each other. So we'll have that 180 minus z over 2 is equal to 180 minus a. Transposing, 2 times the 180 minus a will give us 360 minus 2a. And then, transposing and simplifying, we'll have that 2a is equal to 180 plus z which could also be expressed as z is equal to 2a minus 180. So, when I look at it, I have two equations for z. I have that z is equal to 180 minus a, and z is equal to 2a minus 180. Therefore, I can equate those to each other. So, if I have 2a minus 180 is equal to 180 minus a over 2, when I transpose the 2, I'll multiply and have 4a minus 360 is equal to 180 minus a. Transposing 4a plus a will be equal to 180 plus 360, which gives me that 5a is equal to 540. So a will be 540 divided by 5, which gives me 108 degrees. Did you get it correct? If so, comment below. And as always, please feel free to hit that like button, share with others, and subscribe if you're new here.